when Noah, in the days of Noah, when God sent the flood in Genesis 6, the marine kingdom is not mentioned. Did the things in the ocean survive the flood? Common sense would say yes. What about the Nephilim, the half angelic, half human beings? When they died in the flood, where did their souls go? Did their spirits inhabit the oceanic marine kingdom? Is this one of Satan's favorite thrones? Is this his hiding place? I got a lot of questions. Jesus Christ said we must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in water. We have only explored 10% of the seas and oceans. Why is water used in so many references when it comes to spirituality? I mean, look through the Bible. What is it about being baptized and fully immersed in water? Is it just a symbolic thing or is there something supernatural that takes place when we're baptized in the name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth? And when we go into that water, is water a conduit? to another dimension does it open up a door from heaven it seems that the enemy knows something about water look at how many times water is used in movies and TV shows <laughs> remember that movie Constantine with Keanu Reeves very blasphemous movie right but how did he enter into hell? How did he get into that dimension? It was through the water. What about this new show that everybody's going crazy over? Stranger Things, right? Do you remember how she was able to tap into the underworld and the upside down? How did the government agency use that girl which was only she's only there to glorify witchcraft power that that show is to glorify the power of witchcraft but nonetheless they use water as a means to break through to the other dimension so as we go through this documentary I ask you to please pray to the Lord Jesus Christ to cleanse you of all sins and to open up your understanding to the scriptures and be careful what you scoff at. The Bible says that my people perish because of a lack of knowledge and most Sunday preachers are scared to talk about certain things. They don't like going outside the box. I've never been an inside the box kind of brother, you know what I'm saying? So take a walk with me. So take a walk with me as we go through this mysterious subject that most people don't talk about.
Poseidon, Lord of the Sea, the god of drought, floods, earthquakes and horses, but he was mostly associated with the underworld and its many rivers. Genesis Genesis 1 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. But you need to understand these sorts of things. Now, I got a message um, on one of my comments uh, the other day. And the brother said that he watched a woman get delivered. And when the, when the pastor asked the woman or asked the demon, what was your name? and Where did you come from? The demon said that, or this demon of lust said it was, it was a water spirit. This demon of lust came from the water. And he said he's a bit confused, didn't understand. Now, we need to understand, right? What you need to understand is that, yeah, there's, there's demons in the water. <laughs> there's water spirits, okay? Lustful water spirits. You have spirits like the Queen of the Coast, or you have Marine Dada, okay? You have all these water spirits. There's some of the names that they're called and what they do. 